it is not easy to look into the eye of a grieving mother. It is such a difficult thing because I am a father, I have my children, and there is this empathy, a situation where you put yourself into the shoe of the grieving mother and you are looking right into her eyes and you are seeing the confusion, you are seeing the pain in her. And uh, I actually was weeping too because it was a difficult situation. More so, a 27-year-old young boy in his prime, the breadwinner of the family, who's, uh, who is carrying actually the hope, the aspirations, the burden of the family on him. They are seeing him as their light, and now that light has been put off. So it was, it was really very difficult to uh, As uh, you, are, you are already aware, the newspaper is awash with the reports that the Nigerian police exhumed the body of the young man yesterday for autopsy. And as of yesterday night, there was a breaking news on the Twitter handle or the X now, a handle of the Nigerian police force where they said that they have completed the autopsy report and they are waiting for the, the result. And we are, we are eagerly awaiting that result. Until that one is done, investigation is not an overnight thing. Investigation takes time. More so, if you want to do a diligent investigation, so you can do a diligent prosecution, you have to be patient. You have to give police time. You don't rush investigation. And I believe, I have full confidence that our police will do a thorough job and bring the perpetrators to justice. My primary constituency in the Senate and my primary constituency as a youth representative in the chamber, I have to be here. I'm a young man, I'm a youth, and I'm the chairman Senate Committee on Creative Economy or Entertainment Economy, and I feel it is my constituency. More so, when you see youth are taken to the streets, you have to be there to manage situations. You don't allow until when things get out of hand before you now start looking for how you can solve those problems. Mm -hmm.